All right, let's say we're given some data, and this actually talks about that it's a chemical company and has three different chemical ingredients, and the quantity actually is in pounds per 100 pounds of the product. I just didn't type all that out. And we want to look at the price relatives, which we just did in the last video, so that's pretty easy. And then what we want to do is compute a weighted average of these price relatives. And so let's get busy with it. So the very first thing we know first is we want to take the ending divided by the beginning because the beginning would be the base and then multiply it by 100. And I'm just going to drag that straight down. And so down here, I'm going to put that in no decimal places. Down here, what I'm going to do is actually create a table based off of this information. So the price relatives I just got, so I'm just simply going to take and copy and paste this. Now notice it says divide by zero. You have to be careful sometimes when you paste. What do you want to paste? Formulas um, or whatever. I just want to actually paste the actual values. Okay, I don't want to reference any formulas, so I'm not making uh, making any. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Not making any changes in these values. <clears throat> All right, and so then the actual base prices are here. So I can copy and paste that straight down. The quantities, I guess I can do this, are here. And then to get the actual weights now, what I will do is I will take each price times its quantity. So each price times its quantity, and I'll copy that straight down. And so then my weighted price is based now on the relative times this actual weight. So that's what I did is I came up with the relative uh, price relative and now based off on the new weights, I weighted each one. And of course I can copy this straight down. And if I total these two columns, so I'm going to sum my weights and then I'm going to tell it to sum my weighted price relatives then to get my actual change in my index is going to be based on my weighted price over my actual weight. And so by looking at this, I can see the cost of materials were up by about 20%, okay, from the beginning of the year to the ending of the year.